Now the Ultraflex is unique in that it has this joint, which has a tension in it. There's a number right there you can see, and we'll show you a little bit later how to adjust it over here. And also there's a lock mechanism that you can see right there. There's a little padlock right on it. And so in this position, when it's down like that, it's locked. And this can make it very easy to put the device on a person if they, so you're not fighting the spring. Okay, so if you lift this up and see how I'm jiggling this, these are actually um, joints that have gears in there. And so what you're trying to do is lift this gear lock out of that so it doesn't interfere and the spring is released to do the stretching. Now, uh, initially this can be kind of a hassle. You kind of get used to doing it. But once you practice this, and I would practice this several times before you um, even put it on the person you're, you're putting it on. So let's say the person you're, who's wearing this is in this position, plantar flex as we'll call it. We can set the joint there. And then we're gonna take this and lock it in there. And once again, jiggling both parts really help out. So now we have this in a position where we can put it on the individual. I'm gonna take off or open up the Velcro. There's four straps usually. And of course, these are all made per individual. So for you, it might be a little bit different than for somebody else. We have a heel hole in there. So when the foot, the heel is all the way down in there, you want to make sure the heel is there completely. You don't want any gapping, at least initially. So then once you have the person in, they're comfortable, the first strap you want to get on is the one, the instep strap or the ankle strap. And this one has to be pretty snug. And then just above it is the lower tibial strap. And this also needs to be snug. This is what's gonna hold the person in. You can put your other straps on. These don't need to be so tight. So now, now it's on the person. The final thing you're gonna do, because we want that tension in the spring to lift that leg or arm up. So these are used for upper and lower extremities. So this is just a generic review. So I'm gonna go back down. Now, if the person you're working on can push up and down a little bit with their own body, that makes it really easy because you do that jiggle and it comes undone. And now you are have this on the person and the spring is giving a gentle stretch. The key about the Ultraflex and why we like it is because of this gentle flex constantly. So the goal is to wear it for about anywhere between four to eight hours. Each individual is different, so bear that in mind. You may be someone who wears it for one hour, other people may be 16 hours. But the overall goal is so that that spring in there will put a tension on you. Now you get the best stretch on these calf muscles if the knee is also straight but don't worry about that. So once you're in there and you have the joint unlocked, you can just let it go. Now you're gonna to wanna to wean into this and that means to kind of wear it uh, gradually. Usually we start off with like maybe half an hour or an hour and that has a lot to do with you, the individual person and your tolerance or your sensation. So if you don't have any sensation in your foot, we want to start with a very short period of time so that we don't incur any damage to your skin. Uh, it's very unusual to get damage from these, but it's possible. So we have to really be careful about it. You, in the, in the, uh, with, with the device, you'll get a little wear schedule, which you can mark down if you'd like. Uh, keep particular attention to it. And if you're the kind of person who likes to do accounting, there's also the instructions on how to use the joint. This is more information than you'll probably ever need. But at the same time, I think uh, 
giving a person more information is is more is often better. Uh, so you can flip through this. Uh, and the final thing is the little adjustment screw. So it's a ball head screw uh, driver. And this is so you can adjust the tension on here. So watch that one. And I'm going to turn it. And you can see the one starts going to a 1.5. Now this goes all the way up to 7. Achieving a higher number here is not the goal. What we want to do is we want the person to be comfortable in it and we want them to wear it for an extended period of time where they get a gentle stretch. So getting the seven means nothing, getting the five means nothing. Uh, it only is meaningful to you. You're a different individual than everybody else. Some people need to have it very high, six and seven. Most people are somewhere between two and about four or five. So don't expect that you need to get up. You wanna increase wear time. So touching on wear time, and this is where, if you'd want, you could use this schedule uh, to keep an idea. Usually we start out, like I say, half an hour to an hour. And what you're doing is you're just, you're putting minimal tension on, just at the one, the initial setting. And you wanna make sure the person's comfortable. After they have it on for, say, half an hour, hour, um, you wanna take it off and you wanna look at that skin. Now the skin's gonna have some red mark especially across the instep strap here. This is the strap that does the bulk of the work that's holding the foot down into the device. Now, it's gonna be red, and other parts of the uh, brace or the foot will be red, sometimes a little bit on the arch, sometimes on these outside walls. So here's the outside wall where the little toe would go, so sometimes there's redness there, and here's the arch, so sometimes there's redness there. If you have one that has a Taylor flange, which comes up over this way, that is often red too. Either way, the redness we expect, and we also expect it to go away in about 20 to 30 minutes. So if you have it and you take it off and boy, there's some red marks on there, you wanna really be patient and look for the 20 and 30 minutes. Now keep in mind too, that all of us humans are different. And so depending upon uh, your type of skin, the complexion of your skin, it doesn't matter it, your lightness or darkness. It just, some people's skin are just really, really sensitive to pressure and other people's skin, it doesn't really matter. You're the expert on yourself, but cautiously go forward. If you go through half an hour is fine, skin marks go away or there are no skin marks. Um, then you can wait about an hour and then try and put it on again. So this time maybe you'll put it on for 45 minutes or an hour. What you're going to gradually do is you want to work up to about four to six, four to eight hours of wearing if you can. And it does not have to be sequential. In other words, you can do it two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon, five, four hours after dinner when you're watching TV or playing chess or reading. The importance is to slow, gradual stretch on the muscle so it can increase length. Um, now, once a person has been wearing this and they are comfortable with it, skin is looking good, that's when we start considering uh, increasing the tension. So, for example, you have worn this now for one week. You are up to wearing it six hours a day and you're comfortable and you've worked it into your schedule as part of your routine. You're totally comfortable. So now this is where you'd come in and take this little tool, insert it into this hole, the one that's on the white disc. There's another hole over here. Pay no attention to that behind the curtain. This is the hole you're gonna go for, and we're gonna just put it in there, and let's say you've been doing really good and you're already up at 2.5. We're gonna tighten it down. I like to tighten it by half measures, so I would put it uh, from two and a half to three. That's just half a tension level. And then I would go through the routine a little bit more quickly where the person starts weaning into again. But by this time, usually the person has a pretty good idea how things are going and how it's fine. So that's the very basics. 
uh, to remove it from a person. Sometimes people like to lock it. And so once again, the locking takes a little getting used to. If you can jiggle it a little bit and move it, it usually goes in there so much easier. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, of course, uh, we're gonna hopefully do maybe a telehealth follow-up or a follow-up uh, in, in physical coming here if COVID goes away, uh, hopefully. So you guys, if you have any questions, feel free to call and we will, um, you will have that information sent to you some way. Okay, thank you so much, bye-bye.